Tonight I'm cooking pan seared duck breast with the cranberry risotto. Cooking duck can be pretty tricky. I don't know about you, but when I'm at a restaurant and I order duck, I want the fat to be rendered beautiful and crispy, because that's the experience anyway, it's the contrast between that crispy fat and that tender inside. And my Thermador induction cooktop helps me do that. So what is induction? Induction uses magnets to excite the ferrous metal of the cookware. The result is we heat up the pan and not the cooktop. It's instantaneous, it affords a ton of control, and it's much safer. We'll start by adding a little vegetable oil to the pan. We want vegetable oil because it has a higher smoke point, unlike olive oil. And we know at this part of the process, we want a very high heat. So once the oil comes up to temperature, we can add our duck skin side down. Once you place it, let the cooktop do the work. The less you move it, the better. So we're gonna let it cook here for two or three minutes, let the fats get rendered just right, and then I'm gonna use controls on my Thermador cooktop to bring it down to medium, medium high. Okay, while the duck is searing, let's talk risotto. In this pan, we're gonna add some olive oil. We're gonna sweat our onions. Get the room smelling beautiful. And then we're gonna add our rice. Get it up to temperature. This cooktop is perfect for this. It's got the largest element on the market. Gets all my ingredients heat up perfect, nice and fast. So there we go, it's ready. We'll add some white wine and let it reduce. Next is chicken stock. For my stock, I use chicken bones, vegetable scraps, and herbs. All the stuff that would normally be thrown away, that's the good stuff. That's what we want for our stock. And one tip, when you're starting chicken stock, you wanna use cold water instead of hot. That prevents it from turning cloudy. You wanna let it simmer for about a half an hour, shut it off. And you'll love how fast induction brings a stock to a boil. Here's something really cool. The sensor dome feature means I was able to keep the stock at the optimal temperature without any worry of it cooling down. Keeps me in that perfect range. I started my stock earlier today, so we're gonna add a, a little at a time and let it reduce. Back to our duck. It looks just about right. Okay, now we're gonna flip our duck. Then we add our aromatic herbs, which is some rosemary, some thyme, some garlic. Then we're gonna add about two tablespoons of butter, melt that down. It's important to continually baste the duck. Keep spooning our butter mixture over the breast. Four or five minutes more, when we remove the duck, you want to strain off all the juices, and a sieve is your best friend. All right, but keep an eye on your uh, risotto at the same time. As the stock reduces, you want to ladle more and more. Continue this process, and then add in your cranberries. The cranberries will rehydrate with the chicken stock, so you'll want to keep an eye on it. As those cranberries rehydrate, they'll release their flavor and color into the risotto. So let's make our sauce. We have the pan with our duck removed, and all the herbs remaining, and now we're going to deglaze with our cranberry juice. Reduce that down by half until the natural sugars leave it syrupy. This is when my Thermador is really awesome. I turn off my induction and there's no residual heat. That could cause my sauce to break when I add the butter. Mount with butter, season with salt and pepper, and we're done. Having this level of performance in a cooktop means I was able to cook these dishes at the same time. You know, duck and risotto can be very challenging. You're talking high temperature, instant control. My Thermador induction cooktop handled this beautifully. Pan-seared duck breast with cranberry risotto.